Well, it's been about three weeks since I posted my first video on the Veggie Bullet. Today, I wanted to give you an update after I've been using it for about three weeks, answer a couple questions, and go into a few more things I may have not gone over the first time. So let's get right to it. I was asked where I store the Veggie Bullet. I, I store part of it on the counter and part of it in the cabinets like this. I currently have mine on the counter between my Mr. Coffee Ice Tea Maker and my Ninja Professional. So it's right there for now. And it's nearby my red copper pan and even my red copper flip witch for right now. And bacon wave. Go down here, I have my spiralizer assembly and I have some more blades as well. So it does take up a lot of space as I mentioned last time, but that's kind of where I'm storing everything at the moment. Something else that I've noticed is that, you know, you have it on the counter like on this new Ninja Professional, you want to slide it forward, right? Slide it. Can't do that because there are suction cups, which is good because it holds it in place while it's in use, but really it's not so easy to slide across the counter. You really have to, you really have to kind of lift it up and then move it. Not a, too big of a deal for me, but something that some people may want to know about. For cleaning, I found the dishwasher is by far the best. I'll go into that a little bit later. But let me do a few food items and show you what's going on in the three weeks since I posted my last video. All right, my first video, I used this bowl that came with the veggie bowl. Actually, I paid extra for it. Someone asked if you could use a regular bowl. So for my first demonstration, I'm going to use just a regular bowl. Someone wanted to know how the veggie bowl it does with onions. I'm not a big fan of onions, but I picked one up and I tried it out. I'm gonna do half the onion on a slicing blade. Here you go. Got a big piece of it right there, but I don't think as much came out on the shredding side. Here's the shredded, but a lot of it's left in here. The slice seemed to do a lot better. So there is your onion test. Another person asked me how well the veggie bullet does at slicing tomatoes, so I gave it a shot and here's what happened. All right, first up here's my tomato. You'll notice it doesn't go in the Shoot, so I'm gonna to have to cut it in half. I have this bowl I'm using, and I'm using the slicing blade. There you go. Here's what we got. Now here's the thing after slicing tomatoes. See, I don't want my tomatoes mixed with the next thing that I'm going to do in the veggie bowl, so I'm gonna to have to clean it out before I do my next thing. Now if I was doing something that was mixing multiple items, I wouldn't care so much, but I'm gonna to have to take this apart, rinse it out, and then put it back together. So cleaning is a little bit uh, of a time consuming feature compared to how fast it processes food, but I guess that's what you gotta live with. All right, now I'm gonna show you something that I've really started to enjoy doing with the Veggie Bullet, and that is slicing and shredding chicken. So check this out. Once again, I got my slicing blade. This time I'm using the bowl that came with the Veggie Bullet. It does fit nice and snug next to it. Some of it comes out shredded even, even though it's on the slicer, but you get a lot of nicely thin, sli nice thin slices. I've been using that for a variety of different things.
Again, you're going to get some pieces shredded even though it's on the slicer, but you do get quite a few of actual slices. I mean, some people may not think that's perfect. Some people might like it. I find this to be usable for what I need it for, but let's see, cleaning with a tomato was easy because it just has uh, juice on it. But see, there's a lot more to clean off when you're doing chicken. See down here is we're in between there. My brush isn't going there. Can't, I mean, I have to stick my hand in there and kind of do it with my fingers. This is why the dishwasher is better, but if you're doing multiple things in a row, you're gonna have to clean up by hand because you don't have time to wait for the dishwasher. So this is kind of the way you have to do it. All right, something I made in the first video, but I kind of messed up a little bit because I left a piece off was shredded cauliflower, also known as cauliflower rice. I'm going to make that again because that's one of my favorite dishes right now and I'll do it correctly this time and I, later on I'll show you how I cook it up with the chicken I shredded actually. You can use a shredding blade for this one. Another thing to keep in mind is you only have a minute before it shuts off due to overheating so you kind of have to prepare it uh, before you start putting it through there because otherwise you're going to have it shut off halfway through. One of the only potential negatives is that when I do cauliflower in here and I shred it, I get pieces coming back up through the chute no matter how much I try to block it off. So I'll try to avoid that, but you'll probably see it happening. There we go, I've got a giant batch now of cauliflower rice. But here's the thing, I've got pieces of cauliflower that kind of blew out of it. See on the counter, I've got all that. That happens every single time I do cauliflower in here. Now this time I didn't have the stopper in there, but it doesn't really matter because even when I've had the stopper in there, it kind of comes out when you're taking it out to put the next piece in. So you take it out, stump blows back. That's when it comes out the most, so that doesn't really matter as much. I probably should have had it in there, but not a huge deal. But look at all this. This is what we got. That's a nice big bowl of it. So a cup of cauliflower rice is about 25 calories versus a cup of rice, which is like 250. So it's definitely a healthier option if you like the taste of it. And soy sauce. Keep in mind, all three of these ingredients I prepared with the veggie bowl, the chicken, the cauliflower rice, and the sliced tomatoes. I mainly use veggie bullet for slicing uh, chicken, doing spiralized zucchini, and making cauliflower rice. Sometimes if I'm gonna make a, a slice of cucumber, I don't really feel like getting the whole thing out, slicing a few pieces, cleaning it and putting it away, so I'll use a knife. But if I'm slicing other things, I'll also do things like cucumbers or carrots. And speaking of, I wanted to see how well the veggie bullet compared to a Vegetti, which is an old Nasty on TV product, how well they both spiralize. Not just in how well they do it, but how long it takes to get them out, spiralize, clean them, and put them away. And here's what happened there. Now for the David versus Goliath battle. The $15 Vegetti versus the $150 Veggie Bullet. Let's see how they both do spiralizing zucchini. And in both cases, you'll probably find a little bit left over at the end. That just seems the way it goes. All right, now. So 22, 23 seconds. Now let's see how long it takes to clean. About 52 seconds to clean the veggie bullet. 
Now for the Vigetti. All right, about 42 seconds to spiralize with the Vigetti. And this is what we're left with in the end. Now let's see how long it takes to clean. About 28 seconds to clean the Vigetti. The Vigetti. And the Veggie Bullet. And that's the remaining piece. And this is the remaining piece. Spaghetti Veggie Bullet. Overall, I think the Veggie Bullet lives up to the advertising hype, and I don't regret buying it at all. I think it was a good purchase. If you've used Veggie Bullet, let me know what you think in the comments below, and please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, for Freak Interviews.